We're with Rebecca Stewart, a senior co-captain on the Eastern swim team. Eastern opening up its season this past weekend. They were at the Blue Jay Pentathlon, and then the next day came right back and swam a tri-meet with Regis and Bridgewater at Bridgewater. Uh, Rebecca, first meets of the year, what were your general impressions of how things went? I think the um, incoming freshmen and the returning swimmers did a phenomenal job at um, Coming back and going from Friday meet to the Saturday meet, I think that Friday meet went really well. Some of the new swimmers actually got some personal best times that they did from high school. I know a lot of the returning swimmers have dropped times from last year's pentathlon. So I think that that was a great start to the year. And then coming right back and having that Saturday meet, I think people did a phenomenal job. Isn't it a great thing? After you work really, really intensely for a month in preseason, do you get to the point where you're saying, let's just get the season going? Exactly, yeah. I think we were all a little bit anxious to see what, what we could do, what times we could go, and I think everyone was pretty much very happy with the training and the hard work that they put in, and it's starting to show definitely in some times. You guys did very well in the pentathlon, the St. Joe pentathlon. You guys had seven um, of the top ten yep. times in the pentathlon, and uh, four of them were freshmen. Did you see that coming with the freshmen being so dominant in the first meet? Did you yes, see that? Yes, um, definitely in practice and out of practice, you can definitely see their determination and their hard work. So we had a feeling that they would place very well on Friday, and I was really happy for them. Well, I think th this is really a key year to have freshmen come in because you guys lost uh, um, 11 out of your 19 letter winners last year, and you basically lost outside of your your. Uh, events as a distance freestyler and outside of Natalie uh, Stepniski's uh, event in the backstroke, you basically lost everybody who had the best times last year. Do you look? At, does the team look at this as a rebuilding year, or can you get to the point by the end of this year that you were at last year? Um, I think it's a little bit of both. I think that we're definitely rebuilding within the first couple of months. I think a lot of even the returning summers are really you know, trying to push it as hard as they can during practice to make up for those gaps. But I definitely think in the next couple months we will definitely be able to pull it together and fill in the gaps that we, we were missing before. Well, you, you're, you're in your third year here. You're a captain. You, you swam at Keene State your first year. Think back to your freshman year in a college uh, setting. Uh, how difficult is it to make that transition from high school? It definitely is difficult, especially in the swimming aspect of it, because you're going from maybe practicing once a day to now lifting twice a week plus some doubles here and there next semester. Um, and just the length of the season, too, is definitely longer than high school. But um, I think we've definitely given our freshmen some information that will definitely be vital for this season and just kind of an overview of what the season looks like and um, where they're going to peak and just about tapering and stuff so I definitely think that's beneficial but it is nerve-wracking going in as a freshman and going into this college team and your first college swim meet but I think this past weekend that they did a great job and it's exciting for the season. It's a lot, it's a lot coming at you as definitely. a freshman um, but you're one of the senior captains um, along with uh, Sarah Froelich Talk, you talked a little bit about how do you help the freshmen adapt. In other words, you have a program where some of the sophomores will sort of take them under their wing. Describe that a little. Yep. Um, so Sarah and I put together Big Sisters and Little Sisters, which we've done in past years. Um, but this year now, since we have such a large incoming freshman class, we've had to um, make some of the sophomores now Big Sisters. But I think that they've taken on that responsibility and have definitely helped the Little Sisters um, taken on some troubles that they're having or just talking about anything inside or outside of the pool. And I definitely think that's beneficial as a freshman going in having someone as an upperclassman to look up to and ask questions about and just be able to text a quick question to and know that they'll get right back to them I think is really important. Well you're, you're, a, you're a, um, a co-captain this year as we mentioned. Um, does your role change being a captain as opposed to someone just being on the team? Um, yep, well I think our team is um, such a close-knit team we have here. We've done a couple game nights, a couple of team bonding um, nights and stuff, but I definitely think um, a lot of the upperclassmen are leaders and I think that definitely helps Sarah and I as our job as captains a little bit easier because they are leaders inside and outside of the pool. So I definitely think being a captain you're doing a lot of the behind the scenes mm -hmm. um, things, whether it's the clothing order or just getting people together for an event. Um, but I definitely think our upperclassmen class have really helped us out with being the leaderships on the pool deck too. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. There is. <laughs> unless you're a captain or an assistant coach, you probably don't have any idea exactly, what yeah. it's all about. This is a big eye-opener to see how much they do every year.
It is. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> and the coaches really rely on the, on the captains or the seniors to really take charge. Yep. Right. What it, of the among the freshmen coming in? Do you see versatility um, as being um, a strong point for these new swimmers? Definitely. I think that um, since we've lost a majority of our swimmers from last year, I think the um, recruitment that we did this year has definitely helped us out, fill in those gaps. And I definitely think um, a couple of the swimmers are very well-rounded, um, and it will definitely help us fill in those gaps that we were missing. And they're very hardworking, so I'm, I'm really excited to see what they have to do. Well, we've talked a lot about the freshmen, but what about the returning group? Um, you have a handful of returnees coming back, people who had good sophomore years yeah. last year or good freshman years. Um, talk about some of those um, returning swimmers and what they're going to bring to what they brought to the program the last couple of years. Yep. Um, well, I definitely know that Natalie Sepinetsky um, has been running this summer and has been really trying to work really hard. So I definitely think that she's going to be a great asset to the team as she has been the past couple of years. I know that Jess Sharon has been in the water a few times this summer and I definitely can, I can just show already in her times that she's going in practice. And I know that Bridget and Hannah are very determined as they have yeah. been in the past few years. So it's really exciting to see um, all the all the stuff that they have to bring to the table, and I'm excited. Well, you, you, you've been all New England every year. You're all New England at Keene. You're all New England your, your two years here. Uh, you swim the 500,000 and 1650 and a couple of other events as well. Um, do you have any, as on a personal level, do you have any personal goals that you would like to reach by the time you graduate in uh, by the end of this year? Um, that, that's a tough one. Um, I haven't really set out any, like, specific goals that I want to reach at a certain time or anything. I think the most important thing is just to to be a good captain, be a good teammate, be a good leader, and just have fun with it this year. I have a lot on my plate with internship and schooling, and I'm just I'm just doing it to do it now. And I think that's the, the best thing is I can give myself is swimming is more of like a gift and more of just for fun, which I, I think is a big thing, along with some competition because I think that's fun too. But it, I definitely think that... This year, I'm just going in as a teammate, so I'm excited. I haven't heard the word fun used a lot by swimmers because it is such a grind. Did you ever think when you got out of high school, you went to a high school in Ohio, but when you moved to Connecticut, did you ever think that you would be able to have what it takes, the determination to swim as a college athlete for four years? Um, well, it was definitely up in the air of where I was going and if swimming would be a part of it, but after thinking a lot with it and talking with my mom, I definitely knew that I wanted to either be on a club team swimming or just some type of just being in the water, um, and I'm really glad that I stuck up with it for four years. I think it's a, a great um, substitute kind of for just a relaxation and meditation kind of thing because when I, when I swim, I just kind of zone out, and it's just my kind of way of thinking about things. So I don't think I would have been able to do so well in college if I, if I wasn't on a swim team. Are your best events in college, were they your best events in high school? Um, well, actually, the events in high school, they didn't have distance events. The most that they had was a 500, which was the 20 laps. So I didn't start training for the long distance, which is the 1,000 and the mile, until my freshman year at Keene. Um, but I, I did swim the 500 in high school, and that was my strongest event. Well, uh, Rebecca, last question. Um, this is going to be a very, very long season. Just talk a little bit about how you and your teammates, how do you maintain for that number of months of, of working out? How do you handle it mentally and physically? Um, like I said earlier, we are a really close knit group of girls and we have um, team bonding and we are very open with each other so I think that's really good um, being able to be inside and outside the pool being supportive of each other it, it is a long season yeah. for sure and um, I know if you ask any swimmer they will tell you it's it's the longest couple months or a few months of <laughs> of the year um, but we wouldn't change it we wouldn't be coming back if we if we didn't love it there's something about it that we just can't get away so we tell our freshmen um, some some things just to keep in mind that the Florida trip is going to be really tough in training, but you're going to be able to go to the beach and hang out with the girls, and that's the best bonding experience. And there's definitely going to be some lows, but we just try to pick those girls up, and, and I think that's great that we're there for each other. Well, Rebecca, thanks for being with us. Good luck the rest of this season. Thank you. <laughs>